Toyota just released its first mainstream battery electric crossover, the BZ4X. 260 of these crossovers have already been delivered. But here's the thing, Toyota already issued a safety recall. It turns out that the wheels can fall off, literally. It just didn't get off on the right foot, or should we say, wheels. Today I'm talking about the BZ4X, Toyota's first fully battery powered EV that's not a modified version of a gasoline powered vehicle. We'll see why some critics say it's mediocre at best. We'll also to see why Toyota is only now just entering the battery electric market as a latecomer after resisting the battery electric movement for decades. How they intend to beat Tesla and stick around for a sneak preview of Toyota's vow to become the world's first car manufacturer to guarantee an EV battery that retains 90% of its rated range after 10 years. We can't ignore the elephant in the room, so let's get it out of the way. The terrible name, BZ4X. Now most of you know I'm usually a Toyota fan, but I have to admit, I found the name of this new car very puzzling. BZ4X is a mouthful to say. It doesn't flow, it just sounds odd. If 4X is a foreign exchange market for exchanging national currencies, then BZ4X sounds like you're too busy for 4X. So if you're wondering about the unusual name, you're not the only one. Actually, Toyota received a ton of criticism over its name, and some have even called it stupid or ridiculous. But believe it or not, Toyota actually put thought and meaning behind the name. According to Toyota, the letter BZ stands for Beyond Zero Emissions. The number four is for four seats, and the letter X is for crossover. When you explain it that way, it makes sense, but it still doesn't make the name any easier to say out loud. It's hard enough to say the name effortlessly. But imagine you're talking at the XLE trim, for example. In that case, try saying this without fumbling. BZ4XXLEAWD. Okay, enough about the name. Last year, full battery electric vehicles, or BEVs, made up a mass of 71% of total EV sales. In fact, BEVs are more popular than ever before. So, if there's been this growing trend, why did Toyota keep resisting the BEV space until just now? Well, just consider the words of Toyota's CEO, Akio Toyota, back in 2020. His belief was that Japan would completely run out of electricity in the summer if all cars were BEVs that ran on electric power. Also, the infrastructure needed to support an entirely electric fleet would cost Japan a boatload of money too. Anywhere between 14 to 37 trillion yen, to be exact. That's equivalent to 135 to 358 billion dollars. Akio Toyota suggests that politicians who advocated removing all gasoline cars just didn't understand the massive costs involved. But, Economic costs weren't the only reason behind Toyota's reluctance for battery electric vehicles. The thing is, battery electric cars require fewer workers and fewer parts to make. This means many jobs would be lost in the Japanese car industry if all car makers were to switch to battery electric vehicles. Along with that, the third party suppliers would get smaller too. A Kia Toyota isn't the only one to have this concern. A similar concern is shared by German automotive labor unions. Actually, it's one of the reasons for BMW's hiccup in their plans towards electrification. But because of this increase in EV world sales, German and French car manufacturers decided to push aside these concerns in order to stay alive in this growing market. Anyway, it's not just that. Japan as a country generates most of its electricity from burning coal and natural gas. The more EVs they build, the more electricity they'll need to generate in order to power the cars. This would result in more carbon dioxide emissions. For all these reasons, Toyota's been reluctant into getting into battery electric vehicles for over 20 years. But recently that all changed. So what happened? Okay, one word, Tesla. Look, when you have millions of EVs on the road and you gain hundreds of thousands of fans, basically, you're unstoppable in the EV world. In fact, many people believe that it'll become the first ground up US car maker in nearly 100 years to survive. Now, many people know that Toyota is a leader in hybrid vehicles, but they're nowhere close to being a leader in EVs. And that's why Toyota wants to change that and fast. Last December, Toyota announced its goal to manufacture 3.5 million battery electric vehicles per year by 2030. Talk about a complete 180. But if you find that surprising, listen to this. Toyota also pledged a jaw-dropping $70 billion towards electrification. Toyota isn't the only automaker going full steam towards BEVs. Last July, Stellantis announced investing $35 billion globally for electrification. Nissan announced an investment of $18 billion, Ford $30 billion, GM $35 billion, and Volkswagen $59 billion. You'd think it's like an arms race, but look, none of these giants are even close to Toyota's $60 billion pledge. But here's the thing about Toyota. Technically, they're 
pledge is for electrified vehicles, not fully electric vehicles. Now, I know what you're saying. Is that really big of a difference? You might be surprised to learn that, yes, actually, it is a big deal. Here's why. Electrification doesn't mean electric cars. It actually means cars with an electric motor somewhere inside the drivetrain. And Toyota already has scores of hybrids and plug-in variants that fit the bill. Toyota did clarify that they will specifically spend $30 billion on BEVs alone. It's this multi-billion dollar pledge that is experts believing that Toyota will be the biggest and riskiest bet they ever made. Now, if you're wondering how Toyota will tackle the BEV challenge, well, they've already started. A few months ago, they kicked off the first pure battery compact crossover in America. It's 2023 BZ4X. It's not a hybrid. It's not hydrogen. It's pure battery electric, and it's competing with the Tesla Model Y, Ford Mach-E, Hyundai Kona Electric, and Kia Niro EV. If you're curious about the Toyota BZ4X, well, the controversy has already started. Some critics say it's mediocre at best. Others say it's decent. Here's the thing. When this car was first rolled out, the starting manufacturer suggested retail price was 42 grand. But since then, Toyota has already announced cutbacks in production due to supply chain issues. So right now, the BZ4X isn't available in every U.S. state. And even if you're in a state where it's available, well, it's available in extremely limited quantities. But it's not just that. These last few months have been a most unfortunate streak for Toyota. This year alone, Toyota has issued various recalls. It involved the new BZ4Xs as well as Toyota Tundras, CHRs, Venz Hybrids, and Lexus NXs. As far as the BZ4X is concerned, the wheels were practically falling off shortly after the car rolled out. Literally. Apparently, they found out that the hub bolts on the wheels would loosen to the point where the wheels could detach from the car. So yes, we can say that the BZ4X is off to a very bumpy start. Toyota overall has a solid reputation, and yes, they're good with hybrids, and they're leading with hydrogen. But look, when it comes to BEVs, they're just an infant. The BZ4X hasn't been out long enough for drivers to experience any technical issues with the cars yet. There's just no real road data. So yes, I'm a fan of Toyota, but when it comes to this particular car, personally, I would wait until they iron this out until time proves their track record in battery electric vehicle technology. Did you know that the BZ4X was actually co-developed with Subaru? And Subaru will be selling an almost identical 2023 vehicle they co-developed with Toyota. Stay tuned to find out more about this car later in the video. The front-wheel drive BZ4X is a single electric motor that produces 201 horsepower and 196 pound-feet of torque. The all-wheel drive version has a dual motor setup with total output of 214 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque. See, here's the thing with this car. The BZ4X is supposed to be a smooth ride, but if you used to similarly priced EVs, the BZ4X isn't much of a catch. This is more of a car for a relaxed driver who preferred a quieter ride. Unlike Tesla, Toyota has a reputation for reliability, safety, and affordability, where Tesla is more for enjoyment and pure speed. If you're wondering how the BZ4X compares with the Tesla Model Y, well, the Model Y literally wins in pretty much every department. BZ4X's all-wheel drive offers only 228 miles of range compared to the Tesla Model Y's all-wheel drive long range, which offers 330 miles of range. That's 30% less. The BZ4X has a towing capacity of 1,653 pounds, which is measly compared to the Tesla Model Y's 3,500 pounds. Max payload is 771 pounds compared to Tesla's 859 pounds. But the one thing that the BZ4X does have over the Model Y is its price point. Its starting price is $42,000, where the Model Y starts at nearly $60,000. The BZ4X is available in two trim levels, XLE and Limited. The Limited trim will cost you $47,000. $5,000 upcharge is for a higher trim featuring ventilated front seats, 20-inch wheels instead of 18, and a surround view parking camera. Not many people know this, but believe it or not, Toyota and Tesla actually partnered up to make an experiment experimental RAV4 EV over a decade ago. At the time of its release, the RAV4 EV was the only all-electric SUV available to purchase. But if you were interested in buying it, you needed two things. First, you needed at least 50 grand to buy the car. And second, you had to travel to California since that was the only state that the car was sold in. So you can imagine these two factors really limited its potential. The RAV4 EV was only built to be a compliance car. That means it was just created to meet California's strict zero emission standards for automakers. If you wonder what the RAV4 EV was like, well, in its normal driving mode, it was able to reach zero to 60 in 8.6 seconds. But in sports mode, it could reach 60 in seven seconds. But here was the EV's biggest weakness, its charging time. Unless you bought yourself a level two charging station, you were looking at a wait time of 24 hours to get a full charge. And so after the 2014 model year, the RAV4 EV was discontinued. Toyota just couldn't justify the car's lengthy charge 
charging times and short range. Did you know that Toyota used to have a small 3% stake in Tesla? But they later sold their stake in 2016. This happened right after Bob Carter, US Toyota senior executive, attacked Tesla for only focusing on BEVs. And of course, Elon Musk had earlier tweeted that hydrogen powered fuel cell vehicles were fuel cell vehicles that didn't help Toyota's relationship with Tesla either. Some people speculate that the split was actually because Toyota wanted the chance to prove itself without the help of Tesla. Toyota is also partnered with Subaru in the development of the 2023 Subaru Solterra. Solterra in Latin means sun and land. To the average consumer, Subaru Solterra and the Toyota BZ4X appear to share many direct similarities. Actually, the designs look almost identical and both use the exact same lithium ion battery pack. Their all wheel drive cars have a 72.8 kilowatt hour battery. Both are fitted with level 2 and DC fast chargers. Because of these similarities, both also claim to be able to charge 0 to 80 percent in a little under an hour. The main difference is that the BZ4X comes in both front wheel drive and all wheel drive options, where the Solterra only comes in all wheel drive. The Subaru Solterra and the BZ4X share something in common. They both become a nightmare for their companies. The Solterra faced the same safety recall about the wheels falling off. Same recall as the BZ4X. Japan's safety regulator found that the sharp turns and sudden braking could cause a hub bolt to loosen. Fortunately to date, there have been no reported accidents caused by the defect. The BZ4X didn't have a strong running start as Toyota hoped, but Toyota has vowed to be the world's first car maker to guarantee its EV battery to retain 90% of its rated range after 10 years. At present, very few car makers guarantee battery capacity in their EVs at all, let alone for 10 years. Batteries are crucial to an EV as a gas powered engine is to a gasoline powered car. The battery pack is where the magic happens. It's the battery that ultimately decides the capabilities of the EV it's powering. So if Toyota is able to meet their own vow, this could be a game changer for the EV industry. But now you tell me, what are your thoughts about the BZ4X? How do you think it'll stack up? And do you think Toyota will ever be Tesla? Please share your opinion by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.